So the last reason why a gap wedge is so helpful to your game is because it gives you more options when it comes to your half swing distances. So as you know, if you hit full swings with your wedges, let's say you have three wedges, you have a gap wedge, then you hit the ball 110 yards, for example, with your pitching wedge, 90 with your gap, and uh, 70 with your sand wedge. But what about the distances between 70 and 30 yards? There is a solution for that, and that is to use half swings with your different wedges. And now if you have a gap wedge, you'll have an extra distance. Let me explain. What you should really practice doing is to make half swings. And your point of reference is this. Try and get your left arm parallel to the ground. That's the end of the backswing. And once you're able to do that, try and practice a swing speed that you really enjoy and that you can repeat. You decide how slow or how fast. Let some, somebody stand opposite to you and that person should tell you, oh, that was too high, that was too, too low, or your swing speed was too fast. Okay, so repeat those two things. And then once you see that your balls are landing on the same spot, then it's time to measure. And since you're going to buy a gap wedge, you then have three extra distances. And that is so, so helpful. So I'm going to hit the shot. Let me just measure again. Exactly 40 yards. Now 40 yards is my little half swing gap wedge swing. And uh, I feel really confident about this. I think that under pressure that I can get this ball quite close. All I'm thinking is swing speed and swing length. Get in. Okay, it's, it's something that you can really learn. It's fun to practice and it'll help you make the next step in your short game and just, just allow you to be more precise. And that will really help you to make more pars, bogeys, maybe even birdies. Thanks so much for, for watching. I look forward to seeing you very soon again.